What's up, strongest men, women, and children from blocks all around the world? Welcome back to My Block, Strongest Man, where today we're going to continue our discussion of the competitors for the Shaw Classic 2020, the inaugural Brian Shaw Classic, our treatment of what they're doing to prep and train for the Shaw Classic and how we think they will produce at the Shaw Classic. So today, we're going to discuss Alexei Novikov. Ciao, homie! Welcome to My Block Strongest Man, where we bring attention to the world of strongman and show you how you can mimic those activities using everyday objects all around your own property. If you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing and remember to hit that bell button for all notifications so you'll know whenever I provide all the valuable content every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So without further ado, on to today's topic. So I took a look at Alexi's Instagram to try to get some updates on how he's doing and the latest pictures that I saw were photos from him with Eddie Hall at the World's Strongest Man and then a photo of him doing the Farmers at the World's Strongest Man where he did very, very well. And then the latest training video that I looked for, I couldn't find one, but instead I found this. And like some of the others in the comments, I thought, well, what's happening here? Does he have some sort of injury? Is he going to be out of the Shaw Classic? Or is this just, you know common everyday checkups from doctors and so of course as you can see he's writing it in a tongue not native to myself being an English speaker I do know Italian Spanish German some Latin but not uh, I believe this may be Russian or Ukraine and so I used my trusty Google Translate and I had to break it into pieces because there's emojis in between and so basically what he said was I am always repaired thank you our sport is impossible without you so I guess it's like um common checkups and um you know updates with doctors just to make sure he's recuperating okay and then the rest of it says now i have a little shoulder problem but for the competition classic so the brian shaw classic i'll definitely be ready so he says he'll definitely be ready but when i see shoulder problem i definitely have to take that into consideration so if we go back here again like he looks all right like he doesn't look like he doesn't seem to be in pain, but he's typically stone-faced anyway. You know, I'm not a medical professional. I can't judge by a short video. I can only go by what he's saying. So he's saying, like, it's common preparations. He'll be fine for the Shaw Classic. So how did he do in the Shaw Classic besides winning the whole thing? Let's take a look back at my videos that I did there. So this is my day one video. And so we had the farmers walk on day one and then the deadlift or the squat, depending on which group you were in. So in the farmers walk, 331 pounds per hand for max distance. Alexi did 57.54 meters, which was the best performance of anyone in any group, right? So, um, we'll keep that in perspective because there is a farmers into a frame carry at the Shaw Classic. Then, in the second event, Alexi had the squat, not the deadlift, and he came in second to Trey Mitchell with uh, 10 reps in 60 seconds at a 694 and a half pound squat. So did very well there as well. Then if we move on to day two, where I did this video on, um, on the day two results where I mentioned the finalists were revealed because it was day two of the qualifiers were over. We can take a look at how we did on the day two events and the qualifiers as well. And so looking back at group three, the loading medley with the monster truck parts, Alexi came in third in his group at 44.4 seconds. This was the weird one with the crankshafts and giant monster truck rims and whatnot that kind of surprised all of the competitors when they saw it some did better better than others did with it and uh you know he did decent so third in his group but the time isn't bad right and then uh going into the second event on day one dumbbell clean and press he dominates his group uh coming in with only one rep short of what brian shaw did who is renowned for this kind of event and so alexi ends up winning his group and moving into uh, into the finals, of course. So if we move forward here, we'll see he wins this group with 17 points. Tom Stoltman had 15 and Maxime Boudreaux at 13. And they those two kind of went into the stone-off, but Novikov 
wins his group along with Jerry Pritchett winning his, Kevin Ferris winning his, J.F. Caron winning his, and Brian Shaw winning his. And those five people I just mentioned are all in the Shaw Classic competing against each other. Kevin Ferris was actually one of the latest announcements after Big Z announced he can't make it due to some pain or injury that he's having uh, of an undisclosed nature. I haven't seen any more details about that. So that's how Novikov did in the qualifiers. Then, of course, in the finals... We're going to have a look at my final results video. Go check that one out if you haven't yet. And this will go through all of the events and how he did there. So Novikov got second place, nine points in the loading medley. So this was that 275-pound anvil carry into the uh, super yoke with the three dirt bike motorcycles on it. So nine points there. Keg toss, six points. Log ladder, eight points. He, He looked like defeated and gassed out by Jerry Pritchett, who he went head-to-head with, but did really well compared to everybody else. So um, then the deadlift, of course, was the 18-inch deadlift, where he had the world's strongest man record lift of 537.5 kilos there, a uh, history-making lift. Hercules Cold, seven points there, and Atlas Stone, seven points there. So he ends up with a 47-point total and won the world's strongest man first place. He won world's strongest man 2020. So how does that translate into how we think he will do in the Shaw Classic? Well, if we bounce back over to my prediction spreadsheet, and I guess you guys are all getting really excited to see what kind of Excel I will come up with next on my next video. I've been doing a lot of this lately. So here's my prediction spreadsheet, and let's see if this changes things. So I had... In the log press, and I would say from what I've seen on his Instagram, which is one video, the only thing that concerns me is the log press. So I had him uh, at fourth place with seven points. So I have Jerry Pritchett winning the log press. Uh, I had Luke Stoltman in second place with nine points. Maxime Boudreau after I just saw his latest uh, training there with eight points. And if you haven't checked out my video on Maxime, go check it out. He's looking awesome in prep. Awesome. Especially in the overhead press and the farmers. So... I have Maxime with eight, Alexi with uh, seven points, so fourth place, and then I have Kevin Ferris coming in next with uh, six points, then Robert Oberst with five, Brian Shaw four, Adam Bishop three, JF Carone, and then Terry Holland's coming last with the log press. So the question is, do I think this shoulder problem is going to cause Alexi to come in any worse than fourth place on the log press? Um, So I have Kevin Ferris after him. And then Robert Oberst after him. I don't think so. I'm ge- I'm going to dock him a point. I'm going to dock him only one point for that because we don't know the severity of it. So we'll we'll move him there. And he's ahead by enough of a margin in my predictions that it doesn't affect anything. He's still I still have him winning the Shaw Classic. And so again. Um, We'll go through these other events, which I won't change because I haven't seen any prep there. But I have him on Super Yo coming in second to Adam Bishop. So nine points there in my mind has not changed by anything, any new information. Um, I have him winning the Farmers. And uh, awesome that Kevin Ferris is in the lineup now because I have him coming in second in the Farmers. Jerry Pritchett has looked freaking awesome in his training videos in Farmers and Frame Carry too. Go check out my video on Jerry Pritchett if you haven't yet. Lots of great information there. Deadlift, I have Novikov winning because of what he just did in World's Strongest Man. Circus Dumbbell, I have him coming in second to Brian Shaw, like what happened in World's Strongest Man. Um, And then Atlas, I have him coming in third. So as of right now, what I know, what I've seen, unless we get any updates saying uh, he has some other conditions that we didn't know about, I still have Alexei Novikov winning the Brian Shaw Classic by a comfortable margin by five points over Jerry Pritchett, who I believe will come in second with 47 and beat Brian Shaw for third by 10 points. uh, Amazingly. And then Kevin Ferris, I have four. JF Caron, five. Uh, Maxime Boudreaux, I've bumped way up to six. I had him as low as nine and ten until I saw his recent prep. And again, go check out the video I've done on Maxime recently, and you'll see why I bumped him all the way up here. Uh, Adam Bishop, seven. Luke Stoltman, eight. Terry Hollins, nine. And I have Robert Oberst coming in, ten. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about these predictions, specifically relating, in this case, to Alexei Novikov. Do you think he will win the Shaw Classic like I think he will, based on what we've seen so far? Do you have any other information that you've come across that maybe I haven't seen yet that would help inform this prediction further? I really would appreciate it. I appreciate you guys all coming back and checking out my channel and contributing so well with all of your analytics so the whole community can benefit and learn from it. And we'll see you again next time when I spotlight another.
another athlete competing in the Brian Shaw Classic. Take care. So if you like this video and want to learn more about any of the products I described during this video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. So if you like this video and haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing using that button right there. And also stay tuned for some other videos that you might love blooping up right there. This one is the one that YouTube thinks that you will like the best. And this one is the one that I think you will like the best. As always, share this with everyone. And until next time, ciao, homie.